So let's take a quick look at the deep strike phase and how that will work and see what happens. So the first thing we do is let's get familiar with the, what the aircraft can actually do. Uh, on the top left hand side you've got this range, it'll be short, medium or long. Uh, you have your uh, air superiority rating which is what you're going to be using for air-to-air -air combat and which is basically for intercepts and things like that. Then ground attacks and then strike ratings. Uh, we won't need to worry about the asterisk for the time being because that's for all weather capabilities and whether or not there's nuclear capabilities, also not worried about that. And on the back of the counter, there's this, uh, uh, there are numbers on the back or a number on the back of that, each counter, which will tell us if what we need to roll uh, if a unit is to be used in the following turn. Okay, right, so let's have a look. Uh, we've got this deep strike happening from the Soviets. Let me just set the count up. I've just whacked them up over here on the board for a little uh, thematic flavor. <clears throat> and what happens is we compare each unit's, let's point these out for you, so each uh, unit's rating, five versus uh, four. This guy's a four, see the four there? And whoever has the higher rating they go first in the interception phase. And you choose where, you know, if you want aircraft to be protected or not with escorts. And if they don't, then the units will uh, go directly through and have a chance to attack the, the bombers in the background. Okay, so <clears throat> the first one is a five and uh, they roll the five and we would look at the table uh, and we look at the air combat table here, and we see that a 5 is going to be an SX, and the SX is going to be shot down immediately. That's always a bad thing. So that means that that uh, red unit here is not going to get to participate in the escort phase, and he is shot down. I'm just going to flip him over to denote that he, he took one took one for the team. If I can just get this camera to sit still. So that is that. And this guy is going to go through and he is going to get a chance to shoot at the bombs. And I caught it just in time. I've got uh, the camera on short legs. I probably should have it on long legs and zoom in. So let's just try and adjust this a little bit. All right. Okay, nobody move. And same again, we've got five versus four there. But on the four, uh, in this case, that's a SH, which is a shot down halved, which means this guy's gonna fight, but he's gonna fight uh, halved. So he's gonna roll on the two column, and a two or a one is gonna be no effect. So he uh, did not get, he did get shot down, so he's gonna go. And we're gonna flip him over as well. And he's going to go into the shot down pile, which we'll put, actually, let's just pop these over here, in the shot down pile. And so he will go through. And these guys are going to go through, they get a plus one on their, uh, their next die roll. Now here we have a 4v4, they both roll at the same time. And uh, unfortunately for the Soviets, they roll a one, and so they missed. And these guys rolled a two, uh, which is only just a hit, that's a half. So that means that, uh, what happens? Halved means he's halved, that just is what it is. Well, that's going to have no effect on whether or not this guy passes through. So there will be no pass through there. And then the next and last attack is a four and a three, and they're both fours, I believe. And a four and a three. The four is going to be shot down halved, so this guy's shot down, but he gets to put his attack through at half before he is shot down, and a three is a miss, so he will miss, so he goes to the shot down pile. And don't worry about all the guys that are getting shot down, you're thinking, oh man, the entire Air Force is getting blown away. We're actually going to get to roll at the end of the turn. We either roll or half come back or one of them, I forget, we'll, we'll deal with it when we get to that stage. So the only ones that didn't get to go through and attack are uh, these chappies here, which they're French yeah, Mirages, that's right. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to roll three dice, and I will do purple, red, and black, and we'll go across left to right, and we're adding one to the number. Did I say purple, red, and white? Purple, red, and black, probably? That's what I meant to say. And there are the numbers there. Okay. 
Okay, so that's going to be a 4, and a 3, and a 5. That's pretty good on this. Uh, a 4 is going to be shot down half. So this dude is going to be, uh, his attack will go through, but only at half. And this guy's attack two, it's a three. He's shot down halved as well. And this guy, a four, becomes a five. He's shot down immediately, so he's not going through. So there's the Soviet's first deep strike. And these guys all now return to base. And they go into the flown bucket. And I'll show you the result of that right there. There they are there. See? So these guys shut down, and here you can see them on the back five. If I roll five or less, they will be returned to active duty and maintenance next turn, and these guys will work out what we do with them later on. I forget for the moment. Now, we need to send our missions through. And we're gonna take this guy and send him to the flown box, and take this guy and send him to the flown box. And that was very lucky uh, for the excuse me, for the, uh, for the Americans. Okay, this is a cratering mission. So we are sending three, six, nine through. Unfortunately, these are halves, that's two and two, so that's four and three is seven. We're gonna roll seven dice. Four, five, six. I guess we'll use this one, seven. And then we tally up that number, and I'll be right back. And you know what? Before we tally up all these numbers and things, we need to do air defense. Uh, each aircraft is going to uh, suffer an attack by, or a, a defensive attack by the AA. So we're going to do that in just a second. I'm just going to grab the results that we had and make a note of those. And then we'll see if they get through. All right, so air defense for each guy. I'm going to roll the d6 for each one. Red, brown, and blue. Red, brown, and blue. So here's the results. Well, one of them ain't, and one of them ain't gonna make it. I'll tell you that much. So one, he's gonna get through, okay. A four on AA is nothing. And this guy, is hang on a second. Yeah, so let's um, let you see that. So here's what's going to happen. Uh, this this mission will go through. This one will go through. This one does not. So this guy gets shot down uh, altogether. Because we look at this little air defense fire table here, and we'll see it's a it's a cratering mission. We roll the six, it's shot down half. Oh, actually, it's going to get a half. So there you go. Now, there's me wrong again, all right? So it's halved. So that means we're going to take six dice, not seven. That means we're going to have to roll again. Well, that's a pretty three, six. We'll just do that. And that roll is much, well, basically the same. Three hits. Three, uh, we pop through three fives, which means that the runways will take three, three hits. So we grab a little marker. Well, there's a special marker, but we'll just put this down here. And the crater track has three for the NATO. We'll use black for NATO. And that is the end of the deep strike phase. These guys, he shot down half, so he's gonna go to the shot down bucket. These guys both went through, I believe. <coughs> they go to the flown bucket. And that, my friends, is the deep strike phase. And we will now do whatever's next.